Hello there, my name is Tom. I have a project that I'd like to share with you today using the Studio 5000 Logics Designer software. Today I will be creating a new routine in the main program. Now I'm going to scroll down here for a little bit. And today's materials is going to be the Ellen Bradley Compact Logics Controller and I'll also be using the Studio 5000 Logics Designer software. Now I'm going to come down here to the project description. And it basically tells you what I just said is that I will be creating a new routine in the main program. So I'll scroll down here a little bit more and come up to step one. Here in step one, I will be adding a new routine. Step two, I will be giving that routine a name and a description. In step three, I will be selecting the type of logic that will execute in that routine. And the same thing here in step four. And step five, the routine has been created. But now there's a few more steps here because I have to call up the routine to make this routine work. So that's what I will be doing here in step six. And here in step seven, I will be assigning the routine. And I'll come down here to step eight. In step eight, you can see that I'm actually starting to eliminate some of the extra instructions in the jump to subroutine. And that completes creating a new routine. So we're going to go to the hands on portion of the video now. Okay, the first thing that I want to do when I'm adding a subroutine here to my main program. So I want to come over here to the control organizer, and here's my main program, and here's my main routine right here. My, my main routine can only be in ladder logic. There are actually other forms of logic you can program in routines besides ladder diagram. You can use function block diagrams, sequential function charts, and also structured text. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a subroutine real quick here. So I'm going to come here to main program, right click, go to add, and click on routine. And I'm going to call it, and we'll call it conveyor. And under type here, for some reason my version of software is only allowing ladder diagram. So I'm restricted to that. And in the main in program here, you could have multiple programs. And this is actually where you would select which program you want to call from. And in program, we'll leave it as main program here. And under assignment, I'll leave it as none. And I'm going to click OK. Now I have a subroutine here called conveyor. As you can see, there's nothing in there. But I'm going to add a little logic here because I want to show you something real quick. And I'm going to call this start. I'm going to leave it as a base tag and come here to create. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to create it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download this program to my controller. And I just want to show you something here. Okay, I'm online with the controller now. And let me go to run mode here. Yes. And what I want to show you is I have the conveyor routine here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle the start. And what I'm expecting to see is the motor to turn on on the output. Now, as you can see, the start has power coming through, but the motor output is not on. Now I'm going to go offline and I'm going to show you why this is not happening. I'm going to come over here to main routine. As you can see, there's nothing there. What I need to do is I need to call that routine and let it know that something's there. 
so that it will actually execute that. So what I need to do is come all the way over here to program control and look for the jump to subroutine and that's right there and add it into my program and under routine name here I'm going to double click this blue box here and use the drop down to select the routine which is going to be the conveyor that I want to call up. Now if you look here I have a couple of I have a couple of input parameters here and a return parameter. So I'm just going to eliminate them. I'm going to highlight and then come down here to remove instruction parameter. And I'm going to do that two more times here. This is actually, I would say, common practice because I see a lot of programs and I don't really see too many people using the whole parameters. So I'm going to go back online again and show you that this actually works. So I'm going to have to download again. Okay, I'm online. Now you can see that I am in run mode. I have power on the power rails here and with no inputs on this rung here to the jump to subroutine means that it executes every scan. So I'm going to come back down here to the conveyor routine and click on that. And as you can see, the start is not energized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle the start and I'm expecting the motor to energize. So here we go. I toggle the start and you can see the motor has energized. So that's about it for this project. So if you liked it or you learned something, let me know. Leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.